There are flowers that seem to have sprouted from other world. Flowers that smell like death, glow in the dark, or open their petals only once every decade. Few people in the world have seen them up close. Each one of them holds a secret. While you walk through your garden at home, admiring roses and sunflowers, there are flowers hidden in impenetrable jungles that defy everything we know about nature. Some are so rare that botanists dedicate their entire lives just to witness their blooming. Others are so bizarre that they seem to have been designed by an alien mind. Prepare to question everything you thought you knew about the plant kingdom. Today, you're going to discover the 10 most exotic, strange, and mesmerizing flowers that evolution has ever created. Flower number one, the King Protea. Let's begin our journey through South Africa, where the King Protea grows, also known as Protea cineroides. This is the South African national flower, and when you see it for the first time, you immediately understand why. Its petals open like a majestic crown, able to reach up to 30 centimeters in diameter, making it one of the largest flowers in the world. But the most fascinating part is at the center of this structure. What appears to be a single giant flower is actually a complex arrangement of hundreds of tiny flowers working together. The King Protea evolved over millions of years on the slopes of the Cape, developing extraordinary resistance to the fires that sweep through that region. Its seeds only germinate after fire passes through, using the ashes as fertilizer. It's a plant that literally rises from the flames. Flower number two, the Rafflesia arnoldi. Now we travel to the tropical rainforests of Indonesia and Malaysia, where we find something truly disturbing, the Rafflesia arnoldi. This is the largest individual flower on the planet, able to weigh up to 10 kilograms and measure over one meter in diameter. But all this grandeur comes with a macabre price. The Rafflesia has no visible stem, leaves, or roots. It lives as a parasite inside jungle vines, appearing only when it's ready to bloom. And when it blooms, it releases an unmistakable odor of rotting flesh. This horrible smell attracts flies that pollinate the flower, believing they've found a feast of carrion. The flowering lasts only a few days, after which the giant flower rots and disappears. Finding a blooming Rafflesia in nature is considered a rare and special event, something botanists wait years to witness. If you enjoy topics related to nature and science, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. We're sure you'll love the fascinating content we'll present here. Flower number three, the passion flower. From death, we return to life and to the intricate beauty of the passion flower or passiflora. When Spanish missionaries arrived in South America in the 16th century, they were amazed by this flower and saw in it symbols of Christ's crucifixion. The three stigmas represented the three nails, the five stamens were the five wounds, and the colorful fringes symbolized the crown of thorns. But modern science reveals an even more fascinating story. The elaborate structure of the passion flower evolved in an arms race with butterflies. Heliconius butterflies love to deposit their eggs on the plant's leaves, and their caterpillars devour everything. As a defense, the passiflora developed yellow spots on its leaves that mimic butterfly eggs, deceiving the females and making them search for other plants. Some species even produce toxic nectar at the bases of the leaves. 
It's chemical warfare and camouflage in an incredibly beautiful package. Flower number four, the corpse flower. Prepare yourself now to meet the Amorphophallus titanum, better known as the corpse flower. When this plant blooms in a botanical garden, lines form outside. People want to witness something that happens only once every seven to 10 years. The corpse flower can reach three meters in height, being the largest unbranched inflorescence in the world. During its short flowering of 24 to 48 hours, the plant heats its central structure to up to 36 degrees Celsius, creating air currents that spread its nauseating stench for hundreds of meters. This smell attracts beetles and carrion flies in the forests of Sumatra, its homeland. After flowering, the plant collapses and dies, leaving only an underground tuber that can weigh up to 150 kilograms. This tuber accumulates energy for years before gathering enough strength to bloom again. Flower number five, the long whiskered bat flower. In the humid forests of tropical Asia, one of the most bizarre flowers that exist grows, the long whiskered bat flower or Taka chantrieri. It really looks like a bat in full flight, with its dark purple or black bracts that resemble open wings. But the strangest part is its long filaments that hang downward, able to reach 60 centimeters in length. These whiskers sway in the wind, helping to attract pollinators in the deep shadows of the forest floor. The bat flower prefers to live in the penumbra, where its dark coloration and unusual shape stand out perfectly. Cultivating it outside its natural habitat is extremely difficult, as it requires very specific conditions of humidity and temperature. Flower number six, the jade flower. The jade flower, or Strongylodon macrobatris, is a spectacle of natural luminescence that only exists in the Philippines. Its flowers hang in long clusters, able to contain up to 100 individual flowers in shades of bright blue-green that exist in almost no other plant on the planet. This specific shade of luminous jade is so rare because few plants can produce pigments at that frequency of light. The jade flower evolved to be pollinated by bats that see well in the ultraviolet spectrum, and its petals reflect UV light in a special way. In nature, these giant climbers grow in the canopy of the tropical rainforest, hanging like natural chandeliers. Unfortunately, the destruction of its habitat has put the species at risk, and fewer and fewer people can witness its supernatural beauty in the jungle. Flower number seven, the China pink. The China pink, or Dianthus chinensis, may seem more modest compared to the giants and oddities we've seen so far, but it holds its own magic. Cultivated in China for over 2,000 years, the China pink was one of the first flowers to be artistically manipulated by human beings. Imperial gardeners developed hundreds of varieties with delicately cut petals that look like lace made by nature. The toothed and serrated edges of the petals gave rise to the name Dianthus, which means flower of the gods in Greek. This flower traveled along the Silk Road, enchanting entire civilizations with its sweet and spicy fragrance. In traditional Chinese medicine, the China pink has been used for centuries to treat cardiovascular problems. 
and modern studies confirm that plant extracts possess real anti-inflammatory properties. Flower number eight, the lotus flower. The lotus flower, or Nalumbo nucifera, is perhaps the most spiritually significant flower on the planet. For Buddhists and Hindus, it represents purity emerging from mud, enlightenment being born from darkness. But science reveals that the lotus flower possesses real superpowers. Its leaves are covered by microstructures that repel water and dirt with absolute perfection, a phenomenon called the lotus effect that inspired the development of self-cleaning materials. Lotus flowers can regulate their own temperature, staying warm even on cold mornings, which attracts pollinating insects seeking warmth. But perhaps the most impressive thing is its longevity. Lotus seeds found in dried lake beds in China germinated after remaining dormant for over 1,000 years. It's a plant that defies time itself. Flower number nine, the ghost orchid. The ghost orchid, or Dendrophylax lindeni, is considered the holy grail of orchid hunters. Found only in deep swamps of Florida and Cuba, this flower seems to float in the air like a spirit. It has no visible leaves and performs photosynthesis through its flattened green roots that spread across tree trunks. The white, delicate, and ghostly flower has a structure that Charles Darwin studied extensively. He predicted that there must exist a moth with an incredibly long proboscis, capable of reaching the nectar hidden at the bottom of the flower's spur. Years after Darwin's death, that moth was finally discovered, confirming his theory of coevolution. The ghost orchid blooms only briefly between June and August, and finding one in flower in the wild is like finding a lost treasure. It is critically endangered due to illegal collection and habitat loss. Flower number 10, the chrysanthemum. Finally, we arrive at the chrysanthemum, a flower that closes our journey with imperial elegance. Cultivated in China for over 3,000 years, the chrysanthemum is a symbol of longevity, nobility, and perfection. In Japan, there is an imperial throne called the chrysanthemum throne, and the 16-petaled flower is the official seal of the Japanese imperial family. But beyond royalty, the chrysanthemum has over 20,000 cultivated varieties, from tiny pom-poms to giant flowers with petals that curve and curl in impossible ways. In nature, wild chrysanthemums produce pyrethrin, a natural insecticide so effective that it's still used in modern organic products. In traditional Asian medicine, chrysanthemum tea is consumed to lower blood pressure and calm the mind, practices that modern science has increasingly validated. These 10 flowers show us that nature is the greatest artist that exists, creating forms, colors, and survival strategies that defy our imagination. Each one of them is its own universe of evolution, adaptation, and pure beauty. And the most incredible thing is that these are just 10 among millions of species that we still haven't fully discovered. How many other floral secrets are still hidden in the depths of the jungles, waiting to surprise us?